one of the hottest stocks in 2024 has been Pluralock. And if you've been able to hold through this volatility, it has been the subject of a meteoric rise, the likes of which I have never seen in a stock in my entire uh, going on 30 years of experience in the stock market. It is a hot sector. There's no doubt about it. It's where you want to at least have some attention. But Pluralock flies under the radar at 40 million market cap. And on that meteoric rise, uh, the company saw its market cap expand extremely quickly, uh, only to see the company digress in value over that uh, same time period. Um, as an investor, I was actually riding the wave up and actually exited the position uh, somewhere around the dollar and a half mark. And I have not been back in the stock since uh, until late. Uh, I'm going to share with you guys my current position in the company at the end of this video for full transparency that is provided in the description below, uh, as well as the link uh, to the newest contract that Pluralock has uh, just been awarded, uh, just over $19 million, which marks the largest in the company's history. I think this should get uh, all investors' attention. It did not get the attention of the market. I think Pluralock, as quickly as it was um, uh, going up in value, um, quickly receded in value, which shook a lot of investors out. Congratulations to those who have kept the stock. Um, you have been on an epic uh, roller coaster ride, uh, the likes of which very few uh, could actually stomach. Uh, but where does that leave us? After the dust has settled, uh, Plural Plural Pluralock year to date. Uh, is actually up just shy of a thousand percent, a modest thousand percent, I might add. Um, and it sits at about 40 million market cap. When we first started covering the company, um, the company's fundamentals were amazing. Uh, they were transitioning between legacy business uh, customers that had been uh, in their customer portfolio for a long time, but found the company looking to transition to more of a higher margin business with their critical services business. This newest contract is awarded under that envelope. Um, take heed. Investors need to pay attention to this because while Pluralock at 40 million market cap is flying under the radar, it is knocking down multi-million dollar contracts, this one to the tune of just over 19 million. This is incredible performance. For a company that now is also considered, like before, undervalued. Okay, Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that during the meteoric rise that the market cap was justified because the market cap was expanding by tens of millions of dollars every single day with the run-up in the stock. My friends, that is just not sustainable. Where we are currently is in a phase where Pluralock is basing. It is a, a company that is continuing to work under the surface, and it is one that we will need to continue to keep a keen eye on as they continue to impress on their ability to win new business uh, outside of government contracts. Uh, and we will continue to report out on their ability to win uh, contracts that are incredibly sizable for a company that sports a market cap of just 40 million. My friends, there's a lot of upside potential in this name. Uh, I provide all the disclaimers as to my affiliation with Pluralock. I am paid uh, for these awareness services. And when Pluralock knocks down a contract of $19.3 million, we are going to be the, one of the first to report out on that because not a lot of people understand that this small company is looking to make huge waves in an amazing, amazing total addressable market made possible through the cybersecurity industry. With that said, guys, let's jump in here and take a look at the particulars of the press release that just hit the newswire this week. And here's the press release on Pluralock. It was uh, released on October the 3rd, so just a couple of days ago, on this monster contract with an S&P 500 semiconductor company. I will provide a link to this so you can uh, review the press release uh, at your own leisure. Uh, the point of my address here is to bring awareness to this company and their ability to knock down contracts that are uh, impressive for a $40 million company. 
uh, this is insane. Um, these guys' ability to not only knock down contracts, but to leverage their uh, existing customer base to to win these customers, to retain these contracts, uh, and to win over uh, new business is uh, nothing short of remarkable. Uh, and I want to cover some of the highlights here and talk about what, what I think this means for the company here. But real quick, uh, record-breaking $20 million contract, just over $19 million with an S&P 500 semiconductor company. We'll get a little bit into what that means uh, for Pluralock. Um, the um, period of the uh, contract is over the next three years. They will devote uh, two uh, of their SecOps uh, personnel to ensure a smooth transition. Uh, it looks like to me that they're uh, replacing some legacy um, uh, higher overhead um, services with uh, AI native cybersecurity platform. Uh, in the cyber language, uh, it looks like uh, Pluralock was able to secure this contract based on the service that they provide. And finally, this is the largest single transaction in Pluralock's history, underscoring the company's strategy to expand into non-governmental sectors. This uh, failed uh, to impress the market. I would ask you to look below the surface on what value is created here okay the 19.3 million is impressive enough but what this means in creating long-term value for the company is part of the reason why i re-established uh, my position in the company uh, based on this crazy ride we have been in in 2024 uh, but before we get into that, my current position, I, I do want to highlight what I was able to glean from this press release and what it could potentially mean uh, for the company, positive news all the way around. Ian Patterson, CEO, and the team at Pluralock are absolutely crushing it. And again, for a $40 million company market cap, um, I know that has fluctuated throughout the year in 2024. But here as it sits, we are forced to readdress with this wild ride that the company has been in, uh, both significantly undervalued uh, and then the run up in the stock price. And now here we sit at 47 cents US, forcing us to reevaluate where the company is right now uh, and to ponder whether or not this is the time right now to take a lo another look at Pluralock. If you've been long in the company, it's been quite a ride for you. But for new would-be uh, clients making their way into this name for the first time, understanding uh, the demand over cybersecurity services like what Pluralock offers, and, and especially below the hood, what they're trying to do with their business leveraging existing relationships uh, to further their higher margin critical services businesses. Okay. Under the terms of the contract, Pluralock will modernize and replatform the customer's uh, security operation stack, leveraging the industry's leading AI native cybersecurity platform to replace an aging array of partially integrated uh, high overhead security solutions. So it sounds like better service uh, with uh, a little bit more uh, of an edgy uh, value proposition, uh, what Pluralock brings to the table further. The company will also provide two dedicated cybersecurity experts from the security ops, SecOps uh, practice of its critical services business units for the next 12 months um, uh, to support the integration and smooth implementation of the new platform. Um, so two personnel devoted to this uh, is what uh, both uh, parties have agreed to to make sure that um, there's a smooth transition in this. I, I think below the surface, you guys need to understand Pluralock's ability not only to win new business, uh, but also to retain existing business and, and moreover, uh, to grow that existing um, portfolio of clients that they have. Very, very impressive. If we look over the backlog of contracts that Pluralock has been able to knock down, it is nothing short of remarkable. And these are multi million dollar contracts. Um, none uh, bigger than the one that I am covering today. So uh, I encourage you to check the link out and read this for yourself. But uh, I continue to read the contract was secured through Pluralock subsidiary Aurora Systems Consulting and was awarded based on the strength of earlier critical services contracts. I stop. Um, 
this is what I'm talking about, okay? Underscoring the synergies across Plural Lock business, and that's exactly what they're trying to do is, is win new business through the services that they provide. And I really think this is a bullish thread for Plural Lock and their ability uh, through new acquisition of contracts to prove out to the inv investor base how, how truly good they are at what they do. The company received the purchase order from the client on October 2nd, so just a couple of days ago. Only two fall on deaf ears in the market. I think the stock was off a couple of bits on the news, uh, and that is where I re-entered into the position with about five weeks or so, five or six weeks out of the stock. Uh, I felt like this was uh, too good a news uh, to be uh, overblown and, um, and underappreciated. Uh, I think as a stock market investor, you know, I didn't need validation in the market, but uh, certainly got my attention with a $20 million contract. The record-breaking deal reflects Pluralock's strategy to expand revenue and margins from non-government contracts and demonstrates that the integration of our previous acquisitions is delivering results, okay? Um, that being Aurora Systems. Uh, said Ian Patterson, CEO of Pluralock, being chosen to transform the security operations of a leading S&P 500 enterprise underscores the trust that world-class organizations are placing in our capability, uh, end quote, says Ian Patterson, CEO. Uh, congrats to the team. Well earned. Uh, again, the link will be provided in the description as well as in the comment section below. I encourage you to check this out. Do your own research, this being part of a grander suite of due diligence that we have done uh, for the Grander Independent Investor Channel audience on Pluralock as a whole, what they bring to the table, uh, what they offer to their clients in a much bigger addressable market that is cybersecurity. With that, guys, we'll kick you back and we'll conclude the video. So we've come out of the newswire for Pluralock Securities. Um, I will leave you with a couple of things, and then I'll I'll leave you with my actual share base and where it sees uh, me. This excited me. Um, this is not small potatoes. This is a $20 million contract, guys. Um, this is an incredible deal for Pluralock. I, I think what really needs to be gleaned from this announcement is the follow-on ability to win contracts, how sticky these contracts are, and how the 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 companies out there that need services like Pluralock has to offer uh, are are plentiful. The total addressable market of this cybersecurity industry is enormous. There is plenty of business to go around, and these are the elements of companies' businesses that are very, very sticky. In other words, cybersecurity budgets are increasing in companies' um, uh, budget and planning. Whereas other cost-cutting initiatives within companies see other services uh, going away, okay? This is an addressable market that is growing. It is one that Pluralock stands to benefit from, and we will continue to report out on the progress of the company as a share owner. I have just taken a, a position in the company to the tune of 10,000 shares. Uh, price uh, was around 48 cents US. I felt like I got a, a bargain. Uh, I've watched the shares uh, digress in value. I was not a share owner in the company. I exited the position around $1.58 on the way up, um, only to watch the uh, stock continue to appreciate in value, uh, but then continue to come out of the stratosphere and come down to a position here where under the hood, there's nothing wrong with Pluralock. They're continuing to win business and continuing to earn uh, businesses under their critical services, high margin uh, portion of their business. They're doing exactly what they've told share owners to do. And for me, that's a bullish sign um, in, in what I uh, perceive to be a long position in Pluralock, my friends. Thank you so much for tuning into the video. If you like coverage like this, please subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments at the bottom of the video if you've rode this roller coaster uh, in Plural Lock in uh, 2024 or bef before. Um, please uh, give us your insights on the company. Uh, give us your opinion on what you think that this contract could mean uh, and what this could potentially mean for the company going forward. Guys, thank you so much again uh, for tuning in for this update on the news release for Plural Lock and their $20 million contract. Uh, just hit the newswire this week. As always, good luck in your investment future.